Well, we got a lot to do. So we've got a few people here now. We got six or seven people with us now. Anybody else comes in is welcome to join us. Um, does anybody have any questions or uh, comments about the Achi Choki uh, Droma practice that we've done the past two weeks? Okay. Then just to refresh everybody's memory, and if anybody is new that hasn't been here for the last couple of weeks, um, the Achi Choki practice is on page, starts on page 96 in our um, Data Yoga prayer book. And it's four parts, four parts. So the first part is the daily practice. And then the second part is the uh, smoke offering. And then the, and so we did the, the first part two weeks ago. Then last week we did the smoke offering. And then this week is the third part, which is the tea offering, the circum offering. So that's what we're going to, we're going to do the, the uh, daily practice, then we're going to do the smoke offering tonight, and then we're going to go in and I will explain the, um, the tea offering. We'll do that. The fourth part is a Gana Chakra, is a, a soak offering, which is more elaborate, and it's rare that we do that. So I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to do that tonight, uh, this, this time around. So uh, when there's an opportunity to do the Gana Chakra at the Dharma Center, then I'm sure that um, the Lamas there will be giving an introduction to the Gana Chakra part, because as I say, it's, it's quite elaborate. So um, anybody have any thoughts about any of that? Okay. All right, well then, if you don't mind, it's a lot to do in uh, our two hour period. So um, let's begin on page three with the altruistic motivation and uh, do our prayers and then go into uh, the Achi. So we're gonna do, um, so I'll lead this if you don't mind. And uh, it'll be a, a little bit uh, sprightly. So please try and keep up. And uh, if you lose your place, when we get into the Achi, I will try and, and uh, mention the, the pages. So if you get lost somewhere, uh, you can you know catch up with us and so on. So usually the Achi is done um, at this time of night, it's done at sunset. And it's usually done three times. So it takes quite a while to do it all, to do this all three times. And it's usually done quite fast. So we're going to go moderately slow so everybody can follow it. But, um, but it's a very powerful practice and, and doing it with the speed, the intensity of it. And it gets very loud. You know, when, when there's a bunch of um, monastics that are present who have memorized this, you know, they can... They can do it very quickly and, and it gets quite uh, powerful, you know, loud and it gets fast. And so, um, so we're just learning it. So we'll try and keep it moderate and slow and so that uh, we can follow along. Okay. If everybody's ready, we'll start on page three, the altruistic motivation. All mother sentient beings, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and omniscience. May they experience happiness, be separated from suffering, and swiftly I will establish them in the state of unsurpassed, perfect, complete, and precious Buddhahood. All mother sentient beings, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and omniscience. May they experience happiness, be separated from suffering, and swiftly I will establish them in the state of unsurpassed, perfect, complete, and precious Buddhahood. Dagla dang wa je pe dra no pa je pe ge Darpa dang tam shaken pe pa du jo pa je pa tam shaki so je pe. Ma nam ka dam yam pe sem chen tam she de wa dang den. 
Dog now don drow nor do la na me pa yang dag pa zog pe shang ju win po she do pa ja. Let me pause just to say if you have your um, meditation cards for Achichoki Droma in the pack that you have, if you can get them out of the pack and have them available so you can refresh your memory and you can refer to them and so on. This is the purpose of having those cards. So uh, they should be used at, uh, when you're doing practice. And the back side of the cards have the translations, have the meanings of the mantras and so on. So they're very, very, very useful. So you should have those available. So now the action bodhicitta prayer. Thus, until I achieve enlightenment, I perform virtuous deeds with body, speech, and mind. Until death, I perform virtuous deeds with body, speech, and mind. From now until this time tomorrow, I perform virtuous deeds with body, speech, and mind. De she du sang ma ge gi bar du lu na gi sam ge wa la ko. Ma she bar du lu na gi sam ge wa la ko. Du de ring ne sung te ni ma sang ta sam gi bar du. The long refuge prayer. We take refuge in the kind root lama and the lineage lamas. We take refuge in the deities of the mandalas of the yidams. We take refuge in all the exalted buddhas. We take refuge in the perfect dharma. We take refuge in the excellent order of the sanghas. We take refuge in all the noble Dakas, Dakinis, and Dharma guardians, possessors of the eye of wisdom. We take refuge in the kind root Lama and lineage Lamas. We take refuge in the deities and the Mandalas of the Yidams. We take refuge in all the exalted Buddhas. We take refuge in the perfect Dharma. We take refuge in the excellent order of the Sanghas. We take refuge in all the noble Dakas, Dakinis, and Dharma guardians, Possessors of the Eye of Wisdom. Dranzan Sawa Dangur Pa Jepe Pao Dan La Ma Dam Pa Nam La Kab Su Chi O Yidam Kil Gorgi La Sok Nam La Kab Su Chi O Sange Chom Den De Nam La Kab Su Chi O Dam Pe Cho Nam La Kab Su Chi O Pa pe ge du nam la kab su chi o. Pa wo ka jo jo kyong song ne song yes she gi chang dang dem pa nam la kab su chi o. Taking the Bodhisattva vow. Until I attain the heart of enlightenment, I take refuge in all the Buddhas. I take refuge in the Dharma and likewise in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. As the previous Buddhas embraced the enlightened mind and progressed on the Bodhisattva's path, I too, for the benefit of all sentient beings, give birth to Bodhicitta and apply myself to accomplish the stages of the path. Until I attain the heart of enlightenment, I take refuge in all the Buddhas. I take refuge in the Dharma and likewise in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. As the previous Buddhas embraced the enlightened mind, and progressed on the Bodhisattva's path, I too, for the benefit of all sentient beings, give birth to Bodhicitta and apply myself to accomplish the stages of the path. Shang Ju Ming Po Chi Ki Ba Sangye Nam La Kab Su Chi Cho Dang Shang Ju Sam Pa Yi So Klang De Shin Kab Su Chi Jetar nong gi de she gi Shang ju tog ni ke pa dang Shang ju sam pe la pa la De dag rim shen e pa ta 
Shen Dro La Pen Dan Du Shang Shub San Ni Ke Gi Shen Te Shen Du Ni La Pa La Ren Pa Shen Du La Pa Ji Ho In the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha most excellent, I take refuge until enlightenment is reached. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. In the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha most excellent, I take refuge until enlightenment is reached. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. Sangha cho dan so ki cho nam la Shang Ju Bai Du Dagni Kapsu Chi Dagi Jin So Ki Pe So Nam Gi Jo La Pen Chir Sangge Ju Pa Sho May all mother sentient beings, boundless as the sky, have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be liberated from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they never be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. May all mothers sentient beings, boundless as the sky, have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be liberated from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they never be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. Manam ka dam yam pe sem chen tam she de wa dang de we gro dang dem pa jur chi. Dug now dang de now gi gu dang dra wa jur chi. Dug now me pe de wa dang mi dra wa jur chi. Me ring chak dang ni dang dra we tang nam la ne pa <clears throat> the seven limb prayer. I bow down respectfully with my body, speech, and faithful mind to all Tathagatas in the ten directions. Those who have already reached the Tathagata state, those who are reaching it at present, and those Tathagatas still to come. Through the power of Samatapadra's prayers, may all Buddhas manifest vividly in my mind. I prostrate to them, multiplying my body as many times as there are atoms of the earth. In each atom, I visualize as many Buddhas as there are atoms, surrounded by countless bodhisattvas. Thus, all space is filled with Buddhas and bodhisattvas. I praise all Buddhas through magnificent chanting, expressing the great ocean of their excellent qualities. To all Buddhas, I make offerings of various pure flowers, of flower garlands, of music, anointing oils, magnificent light, and fragrant incense. I make offerings to them of fine garments, perfume, and potpourri, piled high as Mount Maru and arranged in the most beautiful way. I visualize the highest and most extensive offerings and offer them with great faith to all the Buddhas. I prostrate to the Buddhas and make offerings to them, following the deeds of the great Bodhisattva Samantavadra. I confess to you, Buddhas, whatever negative actions I have committed due to the power of anger, desire, and ignorance. I rejoice in the merit of all the Buddhas in the Ten Directions, of the great Bodhisattvas and Pratyaka Buddhas, those who have attained Arhatship, those who have entered the path to Arhatship, and all other beings. I request to all great protectors and Buddhas to turn the highest wheel of Dharma as a light dispelling the darkness of the beings of the Ten Directions and leading them gradually to the enlightened state. I supplicate those Buddhas intending to pass into Parinirvana to live long for as many eons as there are atoms of the earth in order to benefit all beings. Whatever merit I have gathered through prostration, offering, confession, rejoicing, beseeching, and praying for the sake of the enlightenment of all sentient beings, all this I dedicate. The ground is sprinkled with scented water and strewn with flowers. It is adorned with Meru, the supreme mountain, the four continents, and the sun and the moon. As a Buddha field, I offer it. May all sentient beings attain the happiness of the Buddha fields. To the Lamas who possess the three Kayas, 
I offer the outer, inner, and secret offerings with my body, wealth, and all that is visible. Please grant me the supreme realization and enlightenment. Whatever merit I've gathered through prostration, offering, confession, rejoicing, beseeching, and praying, for the sake of the enlightenment of all sentient beings, all this I dedicate. Sashi po chu jo jing mei to tram, ri rab lin chi ni de kem pa di, sang shen la mig te po wa yi, jo kun nam dag shen du ke wa so, ku som yung so la me so nam la, shi nang sang sun de shen yi ki tro. Daglu long cho naxi yong she la la me cho gi no jup sa du so chak sa wa dang chak sing so pa dang jesu yi rang ko sing so wa yi ye wa jung se da gi ji sak pa dam se so pe shang jup chir no Om Guru Ratna Mandala Puja Mega Samudra Saparana Samaye Ahom. Unequaled refuge, ornament of the world. Your fame pervades the 3,000 worlds. You are the victor Vajradar, without a doubt. I bow at the feet of the father Jigdan Sumgum. Continually, I think of no one but you. Compassionate one, grant your blessings. Dispel the darkness that dispel the darkness that surrounds my heart. Please bless me so that I can realize the unelaborated nature of mine. Yabdrangi Dome Zamlingan Drag Pe Tong Sung Yong La Kyab So Me Gawa Dorje Chan Pajik Ten Gong Pe Shaladu Tu tak tu sam yu kyo le me jin ji lob shik to je chen ying gi mon pa sel ne kyang sam jo drao du to par jin ji lo. Please turn the wheel of the Dharma of the two vehicles and their combination according to the disposition and likewise the mental capacities of sentient beings. Sam Chen Nam Ki Sam Pa Dan Lo Yi Je Dag Ji Ta Wa Che Chung Tog Mong Te Pa Yi Cho Ki Kor Lo Kor Du So Okay, now we go to page 97. So we see on the left side is um, a picture of uh, the peaceful Achichoki Droma standing. So you have a card and on the back side is a translation of her mantra. And then we'll go through this, the daily practice. And then on page 101, you see the picture of the card that you have of the semi-wrathful Achichoki Droma. And it's the same uh, meaning of her mantra but here is a prayer to Achichoki Droma on page 101 that we will recite. So, um, and as we do the mantra that is on page uh, 98, the translation, as I said, was on the back of the card. If you look at this other card, you see the Sri syllable on a lotus pedestal and going around in a clockwise direction is the mantra, uh, Achi mantra. So as we're reciting it, you can visualize that the mantra is going around the seed syllable, the Shri, in a clockwise direction like this, and that the, the light of a of, 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 of pink colored light, of pale red light, is going to all beings and all circumstances to clear any obstacle. Okay, so now we begin on page 97. So we'll do this in English and then we'll go back and, and each section we'll go back and do in the uh, Tibetan. Om so baba suda sara dharma so baba suda han. 
a white syllable Shri appears out of the state of emptiness. From the Shri, infinite light streams forth and makes offerings to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. The light then returns and dissolves back into the Shri. The Shri then transforms and white Achichoki Droma standing tramples the four Mara demons beneath her two feet. She is dressed in a flowing brocade gown and adored with various sorts of precious gems. Her right hand holds a silver mirror with which she looks into the three times of the past, present, and future. While with the left, she brandishes the wish-fulfilling jewel that bestows upon supplication everything needed and desired. In her heart upon the disk of moon is the white syllable Shri, surrounded by the syllables of the mantra. So back to page 97. In Tibet, Gompe Nale Yige Shri Karpo Gyur Shri De Leo Pag Tu Me Pa Jo Pe Sange Chang Jub Sempa Nam Cho Sur Du Shri La Tim Shri De Yong So Gur Pale Achi Kur Do Kur Mo Sang Ne Shab Yiki Du Chi Nan Pa Namza Dargi Lablub Sowa Rimpo She Nasogi Yampa Jage Naso Korgi Kargi Me Long Zenpa Dema Onda Tadu Som Sigpa Jagyon Na Yi Zengi Norbu Nampa Zowa Tabna Godo Tam She Jung Wagyur Rangi to kar da we kyor kyo kor ki tendu shri kar po la na ki kor war yor Om mama sokra soha yardu sarvadu raza raza du mama du hong pe soha Om mama sokra soha yardu sarvadu Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe So Ha Om Mama Sokra So Ha Yar Du Sarva Du Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe So Ha Om Mama Sokra So Ha Yar Du Sarva Du Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe So Ha Om Mama Sokra Soha Yardu Saradu Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe Soha Om Mama Sokra Soha Yardu Saradu Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe Soha Om Mama Sokra Soha Yardu Saradu Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe So Ha Om Mama Sokra So Ha Yar Du Sarva Du Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe So Ha Om Mama Sokra So Ha Yar Du Sarva Du Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe So Ha Om Mama Sokra Soha Yardu Saradu Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe Soha Om Mama Sokra Soha Yardu Saradu Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe Soha Om Mama Sokra Soha Yardu Saradu Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe Soha Om Mama Sokra Soha Yardu Saradu Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe Soha Om Mama Sokra Soha Yardu Saradu Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe Soha Om Mama Sokra Soha Yardu Saradu Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe Soha Om Mama Sokra Soha Yardu Saradu Raza Raza Du Mama Du Hong Pe Soha 
Oh, mamma, so go so high, your dues, I would do, as a residue, mamma do, and bay so high. Oh, mamma, so go so high, your dues, I would do, as a residue, mamma do, and bay so high. Oh, mamma, so go so high, your dues, I would do, as a residue, mamma do, and bay so high. Oh, mamma, so go so high, your dues, I would do, as a residue, mamma do, and bay so high. Oh, mamma, so go so high. Your dues I would do as a residue, Mamma do on days o how oh Mamma Zuggers O I your dues I would do as a residue, Mamma do on days o how oh Mamma Zuggers O I your dues I would do as a residue, Mamma do on days o how oh Mamma Zuggers O I your dues I would do as a residue, Mamma do on days o how Mamma Zuggers O I your dues I would do as a residue, Mamma do on days o how oh Mamma Zuggers O I your dues I would do as a residue, Mamma do on days o how Oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh. Oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do. Raz a do, mamma do, on bays, oh, ah, oh, mamma zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do, raz a raz do, mamma do, on bays, oh, ah, oh, mamma zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do, raz a raz do, mamma do, on bays, oh, ah, oh, mamma zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do, raz a raz do, mamma do, on bays, oh, ah, oh, mamma zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do, raz a raz do, mamma do, on bays, oh, ah, mamma zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do, raz a raz do, mamma do, on bays, oh, ah, Oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh. Oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh. Oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah, Mamma Zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah, Mamma Zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah, Mamma Zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah, Mamma Zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah, Oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do, as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do, as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do, as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, 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 Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do, as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do, as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do, as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, Oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah. Oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah, Mamma Zuggers, oh, I your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah, Mamma. Oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah, Mamma Zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah. Oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah. Oh, Mamma Zuggers, oh, ah, your dues, I would do as a residue, Mamma do, and bays, oh, ah. Oh, Mama so cross, oh, ha, ya, do, so, I do, raza, raza, do, Mama do, home, pay, so, ha. Oh, Mama so cross, oh, ha, ya, do, so, I
a drink of water, a sip of tea. Okay. Now with the drum, we recite the praises. So we'll do this first in English, and then we'll come back and do it in Tibet. Beautiful queen of space, glorious Dharma lamp, your body white with red takes on an unwavering stance. Mistress over demonic forces and the wrong view of cyclic existence. Giver of great bliss and joy, glorious lady of intense delight. With one face and two arms, your smile brings peace. In your right hand is the Damaru, filling the universe with its sweet sound. In the left, your skull cup holds a wish-fulfilling gem and you grant practitioners all cities. You are robed in a gown of five colored silks and adorned with jewel ornaments and billowing silken ribbons, riding on a blue water horse amidst the clouds, adorned with a blue turquoise halter, a yellow bridle of gold, great silken straps and stirrups of lapis lazuli. On a silk satin cushion and golden saddle rides the laughing glorious goddess queen of space. Through your great compassion, the display of your retinue appears. Surrounded by the host of Azores, Yaxas, and Dakinis, endowed with the four enlightened activities and wielding the way of non-elaboration, guardian who protects the doctrine completely in order to increase the prosperity of that perfect place, magnificent Trikon. Accept this Torma and guard the teachings. I entreat you to keep your pledge. Please perform all activities entrusted to you. And then the English in the prayer at the bottom, it says, Powerful Lady of Might, who guards the victor's teachings, with your vow to protect excellent practitioners like your own children, Achi Chojon and Retinu, to you I pray, to you I offer, please grant my every wish. So now back to page 98, the bottom for the Tibet, with the drum. Shri Zin Zang Din Chok Pao Dan Choki Jong Kor Da Kor Ma Gur Me Jin Ba Chen Kor Wei Long Ta Kem Te Ka Na Ma Pe Chin Ka Tur Rap Ke Pa Mo Te Sao Chik Chi Ni Si Je Tung Pa Gu Cha Ke Da Dung Jung Pa Kun Ka Do Dung Pa Do Na Si Yang Tu Chu Zin Thank you. 
Okay, so now we begin. That was the daily practice, what we just did. So now we begin by doing the um, by doing the smoke offering. I had some incense here. I have to go to my reserve. So there is a any incense is okay. Tibetan incense is preferred, and there is uh, Achi Choki Droma incense that has all the ingredients that are listed here in the text that we're going to recite in just a moment. So it has all the, um, the herbs and the, and the trees and, and so on, the birch and, and the, 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 the bark and all that, but it also has the white, uh, the white things inside like like yogurt and milk and so on like that. So all that is, is in this Achi incense. So we light this and we put this into the incense box. And this is the personal smoke offering for the Dharma protector is Achi, abundantly satisfying all that is desired. So we're on page 102. So now we recite this in English and then recite this in Tibet without the drum, this, this one part here. Instantly, my nature clearly arises as Vajra Yogini. On the crown of my head is Jigden Sumgun Ratna Shri. He abides in the nature of Nirmanakaya. From the Bam syllable at my heart emanate the syllables Ram, Yam, and Kam. These purify all impurities and imperfections of the Samaya substances. Then the syllables Om, Ah, and Hung emanate, transforming the immaculate essence of the offerings into their innate nature, the nectar of primordial awareness. Offerings for each of the Buddha families fill the 3,000 fold universe. So now back to 102 for the Tibet. Rang me Dorje now Jorma Te Chig Sao Wei Chig Tuk Tu Jig Tango Rat Na Shri Toku Rang Shin Shan Du Shuk Toke Sabon Bam Yig Le Ram Yam Kam Cho Ze Nam Gi Ma Dag Ji Ma Kun Jang Shin La yang o ma hong ye tro, cho ze no o sag me ki, ya she du tsi rang shen chen, tam pa so so rig ton ze, pa ge tong sum yang wa yo. Om ah hong, om ah hong. Om ah hong nama sora tada gate bo vishva buke be sara tamu gate sparana imam gagana kam so ha nama sora tada gate bo vishva buke be sara tamu gate sparana imam gagana kam so ha nama sora tada gate bo vishva buke be sara tamu gate sparana imam gagana kam so ha oma kara mukam satwa dharma nadmadya nutpana tote oma hong pe so ha oma kara mukam satwa dharma nadmadya nutpana tote Three, the primordial innate nature is spontaneously accomplished by the perfected unborn radiance of the secret mandala. When I invite and request the Dharma protectors to come, Dakinis, please manifest to perform the activities of primordial awareness. Supreme guardians who abide by their word and commitment manifest in bodily form from the Dharma Dhatu along with emanation mandalas, both worldly and of primordial awareness. I call upon you by your commitment to come now to this sacred place. 
from the vast expanse of the excellent blue space ablaze with turquoise light, and particularly from the place of the treasure troves of the azure grag, great elder sister, variously robed Achi Nanamze. Please come here and tame all venomous enemies and obstructors, manifesting and emanated bodies from the ultimate space of primordial awareness are the goddesses empowered with the commitments of karma and primordial wisdom to protect the teachings of the victorious one, each according to your family, and together with your retinues of peaceful, enriching, magnetizing, and wrathful deities, loudly chanting the sad and haunting melody of the Dakinis like a dragon's roar, a vast and shimmering host, all crowned and complete in all trappings, your hands weaving mudras. I bring forth a cloud of offerings that is the smoke of the purification ritual, a vast ocean of nectar. By your commitment to this sacred site to Zen, Sama Za, 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 Ho, Dam, Ho, Ala La La Ho, He, 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 A Bhagavan, Akarsaya, Samaya Za. Now back to page 104 for the Tibet with the drum. So I know my Tibetan is not very good. It's okay, you know, we do the best we can. Try and keep up. And if you lose your place, try and find your place again and chime in, you know, no problem. So, um, Shri. Rang Zen Lin Ne Long Yi Ju Pa Yi Ma Ke Sao Zog Zang Wei Kyo Gur Gur Chang Jen Seg Su So Wei Ten So Ki Yes She Le La Jo Pe Da Ki Ba in English. Goddess of space, along with your entire retinue, please be joyfully seated upon these thrones arranged so as to agree with each one of you. I bring forth an ocean-like cloud of offerings, both substantial and mind-created. I prostrate with the devotion of my body, speech, and mind. Back to Tibet and with the drum. Shri Yen Chod Lamo Kor Dang Jepa Rang Rang Do Pei Den La Ke Pa Shu Do Jor Yi Jo Jo Jin Kam So Kiel Do Na Ki Sam Gu Pei Chang Sao Now page 107, so we continue this and mind the melody. So if you remember that the last three uh, syllables of each line is got a little different 
a pattern to it. So it goes one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And then it changes. It goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then it goes back to the one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. So if you want to make marks in the books or something to help you to remember where these breaks are is perfectly fine. So now we recite in English. Please listen. Today in this sacred place in supreme year, at an auspicious hour when the planets are favorable for virtue, glorious Buddhas and Arhats, by my aspiration toward the extinction of degenerative factors, may I accomplish all purposes in this very lifetime. Today, as I make this offering of purifying smoke to you deities, please disperse spirits of disturbance, mishap, and obstacle, turning them back upon themselves. Cleanse and purify all obscurations and impurities. Listen, with clouds of purifying offerings of the sweet-smelling smoke, of various sublime medicines that dispel negative emotions, silk brocade, jewels, incense, and aloe wood, fragrant red and white sandalwood and cedar wood, juniper, dwarf rhododendron, birch, and so on, all the various sweet-smelling and ambrosial trees, and flour, yogurt, milk, and various sorts of food and drink, we make purifying offering to the glorious root and lineage teachers to the meditation deity, Vajrayogini and her retinue, the leader of all Dharma protectors, Dharma saviorists, the queen of space, and the Dakinis of activity and of primordial awareness, of commitment and power, and the three goddesses who devour, slay, and snatch away, heart-shaking mother and razor to the life force, wrathful red mother of enlightened activity, along with your retinue, the thousandfold host of deep red Zaza flesh eaters and all Mamos and Dakinis without exception, to you we make purifying offering. To the auspicious queen with power of life, of the supreme crystal tresses of the Himalaya, to the four families of medicine goddesses, the five sisters and the 12 earth goddesses, along with your entourage, we make purificatory offering so that the patron deities, the host of protectors, the custodians of the precious teachings of the Kaju lineage, an ocean of sworn guardians, protect us, the oath-keeping yogin practitioners, we make this purifying offering. As it touches the deities and ourselves, the offering smoke purifies the veils of impure samaya. Violation of vows, defilement due to discord, vulnerability to evil and demonic possession, those stemming from contact with corpses, rape, incense, and burning filthy things, as well as all other impurities and faults. Thus, may this profound means for attainment of washing oneself in smoke, please the gods and protectors, and repair all impairment and breakage of vows. May it pacify all obstructive and negative conditions. May we perfectly realize all our aims in full accord with the Dharma. Please listen. Today I make lofty praise of the gods and protectors. Glory to the Dharma saviors. With these outer, inner, and secret ritual substances, glory to the Dharma saviors. With a cloud of offerings of an infinite variety of objects that are pleasing to the senses, glory to the Dharma saviors. With the music of devotion-filled songs of praise, glory to the Dharma saviors. With mantra and mudra and profound meditative concentration, Glory to the Dharma Saviors. You who are above the summits of samsara, glory to the Dharma Saviors. Who are more brilliant than the sun and moon, glory to the Dharma Saviors. And as filled with virtue as the wish-granting gem, glory to the Dharma Saviors. Vast as a summer lake, glory to the Dharma Saviors. In order to spread the unfailing doctrine of the victorious ones, glory to the Dharma Saviors to protect its followers and realize their aims. Glory to the Dharma saviors. Protect us and never become separate from us. All the perfect power and blessing, splendor and wealth of the animate and inanimate universe of samsara and nirvana, I gather today as the manifest power of fortune. 
like a swirling ocean of auspiciousness and prosperity. All you powerful protectors, protect the precious quintessential teachings and sustain the development and increase of those who hold it for ourselves, the unerring practitioners and all our circle. At home, fill our dwellings with auspiciousness and spiritual wealth. And when we are abroad, repel all robbers, bandits and predatory highwaymen. Dispel injurious and damaging talk and energy loss. And now and in the future, spontaneously bring all our aims to realization. Take a drink of water if you like. Okay, now back to page 107, the second stanza. In Tibet with the drum. Okay. They ring a low galpo di do so sang shin sa corke sang a chin che tra chong nam sa pe se pe mon lam pi se pe da ki no kung tru they ring la la sang cho bo tre dong ker ke rang so dan chip dang di sang sang shin da tre da rang mo pa sa me man cho Yang 
cam so chan so dear so well to chan de nam di ning po tam pa rin chan so tan zen pa ke tan po zo da ga bi no ko che la si la cha si lu cho pe che su cha cha chong dun do ka me go ka nam so so cha yong dun dun yong cho so Well, that, that's the smoke offering part. So then if we were just doing the daily practice or the smoke offering, then we would come to page 116 and we would do the dedication. But now we're going to go and we're going to continue on page 117 and we're going to do the tea offering. So it says an offering request to the Dharma protector Zachi that accomplishes all auspiciousness and joy. This is called the Circium tea offering. So circum is spelled S-E-R-K-Y-E-M, circum, tea offering. So this, the circum is a set, is a cup. So it's, it's like this here, and it's got a uh, little stand. And so this cup goes here, and then we pour the tea into the cup, and then we uh, offer that to Achi and to all the Dharma powers, we will take it outside at the end of the conclusion. So if you all want to take a minute and need to stretch, take a break or something, now would be a time to do it. Um, we've got good time. If anybody has any questions for thus far, um, you can turn on your mic and speak up. Hey Lance. Yes, sir. When we're pouring the tea into a circum, how far do we fill that up? Do we fill it up all the way? Well, the way I learned how to do it is that we we make it like surface tension. We pour it all the way in there, and then it's got like a you know that surface tension is holding it on top. We fill it up all the way. All the way. All these offerings are made, you know abundantly no empty space i see i see so that's the way i learned how to do it you know and that's the way i've seen it done most all the time mm -hmm. okay thank you and that's why you have the the saucer along with it so that if some spills no harm done if you didn't have the saucer then it becomes more of a problem but uh <laughs> Especially as you're carrying it outside, and, and as in the boom sock, if you have to carry two things, then I, don't know you I know. <laughs> oh, I found my other stick of incense. Lance, is that the same thing with a cup that you drink from? No, this is a special circum. This is a special offering cup. So if you were to go one of the, to the Dharma stores that sell these kinds of things, it would be listed under a circum, a circum set. You know, with That's the, just for a tea offering, right? Correct. And the tea uh, should be a black tea, very, very strong. So um, you might have a, a separate, if you're going to do this practice regularly. Do it in the morning. Then you would have, um, you know, you would have a, a special teapot 
doesn't have to be anything special or elaborate, it can be anything. And you would let the, the tea steep all day, you know, and you would let, and you would fill it up pretty good. And you might use this one teapot filled up with tea for the whole week. And it may get some little things growing inside of it. The Dharma Palace love that. <laughs> they love that strong stuff, you know? So, uh, so no problem with any of that. And it doesn't have to be hot tea. You know, you, you first pour it in there hot so that it steeps. And, uh, but then after that, it cools down and, and that's fine. So that's not the same tea that you're drinking, right? You're not, you're not drinking any of that tea. Correct. Okay. Correct. This is a special offering. This is a special offering. I mean, you can use the tea. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything special, but from this pot, from this offering, yes, it's, it's strictly for the Dharma palace. So you would do this for Achichoki Joma or Mahakala or, uh, uh, Palmo, uh, uh, Palmo Paladin, any of the other um, Dhamma Palas. The protective deities, right? Protective deities, yes. And how, how strong is strong for that tea? You just put tea bags in there, you don't count them? Or? Well, generally with um, something this size, I would use two, uh, maybe three tea bags, depending on how, how strong the tea bags are, but at least two. Mm -hmm. Why does it have to be strong? Because they're they're wrathful. They're semi wrathful. They need that they need that caffeine. <laughs> I like that. What when was that that we uh drank um uh, in in this last chapter? Could you tell me where that was at? Something we drank? When we drank uh, uh, on the the timing of it here. Well, we don't in this practice. We don't drink anything. In no, our, I mean, the last thing we just did. That was the smoke offering. Maybe yeah, it was the boom there sock. Was, there wasn't any drinking in there. Was that the boom sock? Are oh, you talking about the boom sock? No, there was a place where we were chanting, and you said, "Take a drink." Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. No, that had nothing to do with the practice. It was only to uh, just refresh your... your okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. okay. Yes, yes. No, it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a ritualistic <laughs> drink to take. Okay. It was a practical drink. <laughs> okay. All right, so everybody's back together again. All right, so now... So to show you, so now we would take this circum and we would place it on the altar. And usually there would be a torma. You know, I didn't, we talked about that last time, that there's this torma, this food offering that's made in a, in a prescribed way for Achichoki Joma. So this goes in a, on a place on the altar. And then along with that nearby, the circum would go and this is the tea offering. And then you would take your tea and you would pour it into your cup, into your circum. And like I said, you would go all the way to the top and, and form, you know, a, um, a, uh, a surface tension, like a little bubble, you know, that forms up there. You know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. And then that's, that may, that's the offering. So now we go and we do the practice. And then at the end of the practice, then this tea offering, the circum, goes outside and then gets, you know, thrown onto a, um, the, uh, the, the tea gets thrown onto a, to a, a bush or, you know, the grass or, or a tree or something like that, you know, as a means of offering this to all the, the Dharma powers that are all around and so on. It's just a mindfulness thing. Okay? Okay, so I'm keeping this here on my table, but as I say, this would usually go on the altar and uh, stay there during this practice.
Okay, so now we're on page 117. So we'll go slow, we'll read this through, and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll recite the practice together. So here it says in the italics, it says, to the single nature of Dharmakaya, Vajrayogini, in Samagugaya's style, Achi Lady of Nanan, as Nirmanakaya, the Dakinis of the four families, to you, ocean-like host of Dharma protectors, I prostrate with devotion. So in past talks, we talked about the Dharmakaya. We talked about Vajrayogini uh, last time. Uh, and Sambhagugaya, we talked. So the Dharmakaya is the, the truth body of the Buddha. The Sambhagugaya is the subtle enjoyment body of the Buddha. And there is Achichoki, uh, Achichoki Joma, or Lady of Nanam. That's, that's an epithet for her name. And then it says in Nirmanakaya, we talked about that, that's the emanation body of the Buddha, is the Dakinis of the four families. So the, we haven't gone into the elaboration of who those four Dakinis are, but they would represent the water element, the earth element, the fire element, and the wind element. The four Dakinis of the four elements is what that would represent, what that is symbolic of. And then it says, to you, ocean-like host of Dharma protectresses, so there's many, many, there's, there's an ocean of them. Uh, I prostrate with devotion. So we're making these prostrations, these offerings to all these deities. So then it says, if any yogin or yogini should wish to supplicate the Dharma protector as Achi, they should assemble her torma, the white torma for the local deity, various types of unharvested grain, wine or tea and so forth, and then repeat the following. So the circum sometimes is done with wine. Sometimes in the, um, in the, the more um, wrathful deities, Achi is a semi-wrathful, but in the very wrathful deities, they would use like a red wine uh, or liquor. Um, and then there would be the Torma for Achi, there would be the white torma, which is for the local deities, and the white torma, which would be made out of um, milk and yogurt and flour. Um, and then various, it says various types of unharvested grain. Uh, I can't tell you what that is. I don't, I don't know exactly what that is. Okay, so now we go, and uh, now the, the root text says, ah, from the radiance of the compassionate dance of clarity and emptiness, I arise as Vajrayogini. So here, this very first line, from the radiance of the compassionate dance of clarity and emptiness, I arise as Vajrayogini. So this is the dance of the Dharmakaya. This is the truth body. So this is Vajrayogini is, is symbolic of that. With the incomparable Lord Ratna Shri above the crown of my head. So that's Ratna Shri here is uh, Lord Drikumpa Jigden Sumgran, the founder of the Drikum Kagyu lineage. Like the moon reflected in calm waters, I clearly appear dancing. So now you are Vajrayogini. So you appear, you, you visualize that you are dancing on this water like that. Like the moon reflected in calm waters, I clearly appeared dancing. With the syllables Ram, Yam, and Kam emanating from my heart as rays of light. So Ram is fire. So it's red, red Yam, red Ram, excuse me. Yam is water, no, no, excuse me, is air, is air, wind. So it's like clear, but usually we think of it in, in, a, in a green color. The yam is in a green color. And calm is emanating from my heart. The calm is the water with earth in it. So it's a suspension of, of, of molecules, of, of, of particles of earth in the water. So there it's called calm when it's both the water and that. 
So that would be a, a white color. These burn up, blow away, and rinse clean all defilements, evil and wrongdoing. So these burn up. So the red rum, the red rum would be the fire is burning up any negativities, any defilements, any evil, wrongdoing is burning it away. Then the, uh, then the yam is the wind. The wind would be blowing it away, blowing if there's any ashes or if it can blow those, those particles, those whatever those defilements are, it blows them away. And then rinse clean defilements is the water with the earth in it, with, with the, the, the particles of the earth in it. All defilements, evil and wrongdoing. So it's, it's purifying. So as we are setting up the altar, you know, we haven't talked about this, but as we are setting it up, we are saying Ram Yam Kam, Ram Yam Kam, because this fire, this wind, and this water are purifying all the offerings that are being made to the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas and so on that are on the altar. So this Ram Yam Kam is fundamental to the, to the offerings. So now we say with an Om Ah Hong, they transform into nectar. So Om Ah Hong, if you remember, we go Om Ah Hong. So the body, the speech, and the mind. So this is the transformation of our body, speech, and mind to become inseparable with the body, speech, and mind of the enlightened ones. So we're purifying with the Ram Yam Kam, and now we are um, transforming this into nectar. Wisdom nectar, Dharma nectar. And with Ha Ho Shri, fill the entire expanse. So now Ha Ho Shri is like this is being dispersed to every everywhere, to all phenomenal nature, to the entire expanse. It's going out everywhere. Ha Ho Shri, becoming offerings to the Dharma protectors. So we're visualizing that the Dharma protectors are all around. You know, when we talk about, you know, when we, in the, uh, in the opening prayers, we talk about that all the atoms are Buddhas and within the atoms are, are, are the bodhisattvas and then all the space around are the Dharma protectors. So they're in everywhere. They're everywhere all around. We don't see them. They're invisible until we learn how to recognize them. And this is what we're doing. We recognize them, not so much with our eyes, but with our heart. You know, this is all developing the wisdom of the heart, the ability for the heart to be able to see all this and to recognize this. So then the next line says, cleanse and purify it with Ram Yam Kam and then recite Om Ah Hong Ha Ho Shri three times. So, we're, so this is the, uh, purification that we're doing. So we would be, you know, uh, maybe we're looking at our altar or maybe we're just thinking about our altar. We're thinking about the offerings that we, the Torma offering and the Sorkim offering, the smoke offering. And we're thinking Ram Yam Kam Ho, um, uh, Ram Yam uh, Hong, Ram Yam Kam Om Ah Hong Ha Ho Shri. And we're reciting that and thinking about it dispersing all around. So now it says before me amidst massing cloud banks is the white Dharma protectress Dharma Tara adorned with silken scarves, fine brocades and jewel ornaments. So now we're saying before me, these, these clouds, these Dharma clouds, you know, it's, it's sort of like, you know, the clouds that we are familiar with in the sky. But as we look at these pictures, of, of Achi on the horse, and she's surrounded by these clouds. And her Dharma, you know, her Dharma power is like these clouds that, that blanket, that cover and, and, and give um, comfort and, um, and uh, are able to um, overcome through the Dharma any of the defilements and so on. So this is a, these are good clouds. These aren't clouds of blockages. These are clouds of, 
of, of, of warmth and of nurturing. With her right hand, she holds a damaru, and with the left, a skull cup carrying the wish fulfilling jewel. So here is a skull cup with a wish fulfilling jewel, and here is the damaru. This is the damaru. If you look at the pictures of Achi, the semi raffle on the blue water horse, you see that in her right hand, she's holding the damaru. And in her left hand, at the heart, is the wish-fulfilling jewel in a skull cup. So that's what, what this is, like this. So you can, you can do this. You may not have a drum. You may not have a skull cup with a wish-fulfilling jewel. But you can raise your arms like this and hold this and close your eyes and visualize that you are Achichoki Droma. Or that you visualize that Achichoki Droma is right in front of you and you're, you're holding the same implements that she holds. This is becoming part of the deity yoga. This is the union with the deity. This is how we become inseparable with the deities, by emulating them, by using their implements, by sitting in their position and holding their implements and so on. This is where we derive their power. This is where we recognize this within ourselves and so on. So this is part of the practice. So then the next line, it says, she has three eyes and possesses a peaceful and wrathful demeanor. So she, the three eyes are two eyes that she normally sees, and she has the wisdom eye, the third eye in her forehead. And, um, and she has a peaceful and wrathful demeanor. She's not fully wrathful, she's semi-wrathful. So she has a little bit of a smile, but she's got a little bit of fangs that are showing at the same time. It's not a grimace like with the with the, the full wrathful deities, they have a, a very grimacing appearance. But she has a, a smile, but her fangs are showing. On the blue, on the water blue wisdom horse, with a golden bridle and turquoise reins adorned with silk, upon a saddle of brocade, she wrathfully rides. Before her is the blue flesh-eating dakini, to her right, the yellow dakini of primordial awareness. Behind her, the powerful red dakini. And to her left, the white dakini of Samaya. So these are the four dakinis of the Dharmakaya of the four elements that I had mentioned a little bit earlier. So, um, so she's, she's uh, this flesh-eating dakini. What that means is, is that everything is enjoyable. If you remember, we uh, talked about uh, Vajrayogini, and she was drinking blood from her skull cup. And that's to show that everything in phenomenal nature is all pure into itself. We're the ones who, who decide, who say, who have prejudice, who make judgment that this is not good, this is bad, or this is unwholesome, or something like that. But she looks at all of this as the same enjoyment as anything else. So this is being transcendent. This is rising above. This is, this is uh, you know, um, exalting ourselves beyond uh, suffering. So here are the four, the four dakinis, the primordial awareness, the powerful red dakini, the white dakini of samaya. So the samaya are the vows. The samaya, samaya means vow, and samaya, uh, sama means vow. Samaya is the one who takes the vow. So we are the vow takers. You know? And the, the Dharma Palas, they have taken vows too, to protect the Dharma for the benefit of, of all other beings, of all sentient beings and so on. So they're samaya beings too. And the circles beyond are the five syringma sisters of long life. So if we visualize that this is all in the center is, is Achichoki Joma, then on the four cardinal directions are these four dakinis. Now in a circle around them now are the five syringma sisters of long life. So I'm not going to go into any detail about them, but they're explained in Milarepa's practice and other practices. 
and the 12 Tenma Earth Goddesses and the powerful Ishvari Mother. So as I say, these are explained, you know, by the Lamas, you know, with, when you get an empowerment, they would go into more detail with this and in other practices, they're, they're uh, detailed more. Um, the 12 Tenma Earth Goddesses and the powerful Ishvari Mothers. Like a full measure of sifted sesame seed, each is distinct and unmixed, clearly visualized within a vast expanse of rainbow light. So what this means is that they are, they are in the midst of all this phenomenal nature, but they have no substance of their own. They are in a vast expanse of rainbow light. You know, so they are like, they are like if you take, um, if you take flour, that's been sifted and you throw it up in the air and how it disperses. So it's, it's like how they disperse. You know, it seems to be there and for a few seconds it, it's there, but then very quickly it, it settles to the ground or it's blown away and we don't see it any longer. So it's like that. From the three syllables in the three places, and from the life force, life streams forth to the pure realms of Udiyana, to Jangjob Ling, Drikong Teal, and to the Craig of Tidro to invoke Dharma Tara. So from the three syllables of the three places, Om Ah Hong, the three syllables, Om Ah Hong, from the forehead, from the throat, from the heart, or from the body, the speech, and the mind. Mm. and from the life force. So the life force is that which is within the, the, the center um, channel within our body that is running from uh, the very base of our spine all the way up through the crown of our head parallel to our spine. So this is the center channel and the life force is there. And if you remember, we talked about that, that when we are um, conceived, our mother and father came together, and then we were conceived. This life force sprang to life and has been with us all our life. And when we when we die, we eject that life force. So this light streams forth to the pure realm of Udiyana, which is the the place where Padmasambhava was was born, was had his miraculous birth on a the pistol of a lotus, which means that through his meditation, that he had, that he was reborn as a as a uh, enlightened being, and, and we are all capable. We all have the potential to do that ourselves. So this pure realm of Udiyana is where uh, Padmasambhava originates from, and then to Jangjobling, Drikong Teal. So that's the place where the um where the, the monastery is where Jigden Sungun founded the Drikong Kagyu lineage and to the crag of Tidro I would assume that that I, I'm not positive but I think that that would be the the cave or the hermitage that Achichoki Droma achieved her enlightenment in and all this to invoke Dharma Tara so Dharma Tara being Achichoki Droma. So now it says, Sri, you who are bound with Samaya to protect the teachings of the Dharma, the five Achi sisters, the Seringma sisters of long life, the 12 Tenma earth goddesses, and all you host of Dakinis, turn your attention to this place and please come here like you promised. So we're just calling attention to all these deities that we just vi visualized and, and what we just went through. So come here, we're saying come here. Please be seated on the thrones of this bejeweled palace. Do not forget your commitment, but accomplish all that has been entrusted to you. Om, so that was Shri. So all that had to do with the Shri, that first sentence. Now we come to the next one, it says Om, sensory enjoyments emanate from the primordial expanse of Samantapadri. So Samantapadri 
is the female consort to Samantapadra. Samantapadra is the primordial Buddha, so pure that he's unborn. However, Samantapadri is his consort, and through her body is the display of Samantapadra. That unborn nature is born in the Dharma Datu, is born as phenomenal nature. So it says the primordial expanse of Dharma da, uh, uh, Samantapadri. So, om, the sensory enjoyments emanate. So, the sensory, meaning that now we have our senses. You know, we've, we've got the skandhas. We, we, can, we have our eyes, we have our ears, we have our nose, we have our tongue, we have our, our fingers, and, and so on. So, we can hear, see, taste, and touch, and all this. So, now, ah, of unimpeded enjoyment, endowed with thousands of qualities, so now all this, the enlightened ones, are all enjoying all this. Those who are suffering don't understand it and are looking at it with wrong view and are confused. And all this becomes suffering to them because they don't understand the transcendent nature of all of this, that this is actually the display of the primordial nature. This is Samantapadri and Samantapadra. So this unimpeded enjoyment. Then Hung is the Dharmatara, you who bring about the joy. So this is the incarnate, this is the emanation body of Tara, of Achichoki Jom, of Tara, of the female, of the female Buddhas that, that bring this to us, that teach this to us. Then Sri, please accept this Torma offering and liberate all enemies and obstructors. So it's the Om, Ah, Hong, and then the Shri is at the navel. Please accept this Torma and liberate all enemies and obstructors. So now all this all comes together and those that we consider to be enemies and obstructors now are liberated. So it all comes together. It's all co-emergent. It's all, it all, it all is realized. So this is the Shri, this is the primal cause. Shri means the primal cause. So Ma, so now it says Ma, the mother, glorious Dharma Tara, queen of space, Dag, protect me, the yogin, along the three paths at home and abroad. Nay, mother, do not forget me. Please guard me at all times with your compassion. Chog, please bestow the ordinary and supreme cities. Say, at the time of death, lead me to the pure realm of Uddiyana. So we're calling upon these aspects of Achi and these enlightened beings to help us to realize all this phenomenal nature for the benefit of enlightenment. Um, 10. Constant refuge in this and all future lives. Dharmatara. Kyab. In order not to transgress your commitment, to protect those under this refuge. Dog, protect me and never leave. Zay, please accept these ocean-like clouds of Torma offering. So you're making these offerings. Please accept these. I'm asking you to do all this for me and for all of us. Now here's what I'm offering you. Tug, through these many pleasing and delightful substances, Ma, may Samaya with the Dakini mother and her retinue be fulfilled. Ken, please forgive any times that I have breached and defiled my commitments. Dom, liberate the enemies, obstructors, and dark sorcerers opposed to these commitments. Dawn, or Dun, accomplish all the four types of entrusted enlightened activity. So the four enlightened activities are pacification, enrichment, Magnet, magnetizing and subjugation. Those are the four enlightened activities. So this is, so we're offering this tea at this point now and all the other things up to this point, the smoke offering to the Dharma Palace to do all this for us and so on. And that we accept this and that we, we, uh, we rejoice in this. 
So then it says, in the italics here, it says, thus the offering, the torma, and a clean, clean place recite prayers of dedication and aspiration. It is extremely important that you practice this as much as you can on the new moon, full moon, and eighth days of the month, never missing a session. So it's calling out, you know, ritually when would be the best times to do this. And then at the bottom it says, may this offering request to the Dharma protector is Achi that accomplishes all auspiciousness and joy, swiftly composed by the long haired yogin Lo Jejong at the express command of Jungpa Lama Karma Lundro, one who has perfectly pure karmic connection to Jetson Ningpo and written down by the scribe Kunchuk Darge, be of a cause of virtue. So that is the that is the, the circum offering, the tea offering. Any questions or comments? Elias, I do have a question. Um, sometimes I'm confusing the term nectar or nectar with um, what what is exactly is that? Is that is that wisdom? Is that bliss? Is that um, how should we see nectar? How should we visualize you know Oma Hung transforming into nectar? Well, nectar is the the mind of the Buddha. I mean, the essence of what the nectar is, is, oh, is, that... is the Dharma, the Dharmakaya, the mind of the Buddha. That's, that's the essence of what it is, the wisdom and the compassion and the joy and the, and the uh, equanimity. It is the bodhicitta. You know, it's the essence of what that is. However, it can take a, a substantial form as, you know, when we receive empowerment, we're receiving that nectar. You know, the water can be nectar. Medicine can be nectar. You know, the wine can be nectar. The tea can be nectar. All these things can be nectar because they, they, it is symbolic of that mind of the Buddha. Okay. Sometimes, Thank it's, you. sometimes it's called elixir. In medicine, in medicine Buddha practice, it's called the elixir, the Dharma elixir, that he's holding the Dharma elixir in his bowl. Mm -hmm. You know, that heals. Lance, yeah. when you're mentioning these certain days, are these, now these days are usually, um, days are um, on a lunar calendar, right? Correct. Yeah. So you can get lunar calendars. Um, you know, uh, there's one that comes out every year that uh, is really, really good. Um, I get it from Rigpa, and it's a, it's a booklet like this, and it's got the whole year in here. It starts with Losar. It starts with, you know, the Lunar New Year and goes through each day and, and tells the significance of each day and has all kinds of pictures and all kinds of, of, um, of, of things to learn in here. Um, it comes from the, the Yingma tradition, but it also includes stuff about the other traditions, not just Yingma. Trikon Kagyu, uh, Ka uh, the, the, the uh, Shakya, Galupa, and so on like that. So it's really good. I've been getting these for years, and this is what I keep track of my accumulations in. Every day when I do my practice and everything, I write down my accumulations in here. So, uh, so it has a very practical purpose and so on. So, so it, is, it goes by the lunar calendar and then subordinate to that is the Western calendar. So it's, it's very, so it's interesting because you start looking at things, the first day of the year is like spring, you know, instead of being this arbitrary day of January 1st. So it's, it's really neat to get, you know, the perspective of being spiritually connected to, a, to the lunar cycles and so on. It's very, it's very, uh, very interesting, very powerful. But that's not the only one. There's lots of calendars that are available. So if you need more information, I can forward some things to you. But you can 
look it up, go, go to Google and go Tibetan calendars and all kinds of stuff will pop up. You can get these calendars at Amazon. They don't have this one, but they have other calendars that are really, really good. And I have those in my office, so they're very good. That was a long explanation. <laughs> Thanks so much, Lance. Well, you're welcome. All right. Any other questions? All right. Well, then let's go back to page 117. And now we'll recite this in English together. And then we'll go back and we'll do it in the Tibetan. Okay, the bottom of page 117. Ah, from the radiance of the compassionate dance of clarity and emptiness, I arise as Vajrayogini, with the incomparable Lord, Ratna Shri, above the crown of my head. Like the moon reflected in calm waters, I clearly appear dancing, with the syllables Ram, Yam, Kam, emanating from my heart as rays of light. These burn up, blow away, and rinse clean all defilements, evil, and wrongdoing. With Om, Ah, and Hom, they transform into nectar, and with Ha, Ho, Shri, fill the entire expanse, becoming offerings to the Dharma protectors. Before me, amidst massing cloud banks, is the white Dharma protectress, Dharma Tara, adorned with silken scarves, fine brocades and jewel ornaments. With her right hand, she holds a damaru, and with the left, a skull cup carrying the wish-fulfilling jewel. She has three eyes and possesses a peaceful and wrathful demeanor. On the water-blue wisdom horse, with a golden bridle and turquoise reins adorned with silk, upon a saddle of brocade, she wrathfully rides. Before her is the blue flesh-eating daikini, to her right, the yellow daikini of primordial awareness. Behind her, the powerful red daikini. And to her left, the white daikini of Samaya. In the circles beyond are the five Syringma sisters of long life, the 12 Tenma earth goddesses, and the powerful Isvari mothers. Like a full measure of sifted sesame seed, each is distinct and unmixed, clearly visualized within a vast expanse of rainbow light. From the three syllables in the three places and from the life force, light st streams forth for the pure realm of Uddiyana. To Jangjo Bling, Drikong Teal, and to the crag of Tidro, to invoke Dharmatara. Shri, you who are bound with the Samaya to protect the teachings of the Dharma. The five Achi sisters, the Syringma sisters of long life, 12 Tenma earth goddesses, and all your host of Dakinis, turn your attention to this place and please come here like you promised. Please be seated upon these thrones of this bejeweled palace. Do not forget your commitment, but accomplish all that has been entrusted to you. Om, sensory enjoyments emanate from the primordial expanse of Samantabhadri. Ah, of unimpeded enjoyment, endowed with thousands of qualities. Hom, Dharma Tara, you who bring about joy. Shri, please accept this Torma offering and liberate all enemies and obstructors. Ma, Mother, glorious Dharma, Tara, Queen of Space, protect me, the yogin among the three paths at home and abroad. Mother, do not forget me. Please guard me at all times with your compassion. Please bestow upon, please bestow the ordinary and supreme cities. At the time of death, lead me to the pure land of Uddiyana, constant refuge in this and all future lives, Dharmatara. In order not to transgress your commitment to protect these under this refuge, protect me and never leave. Please accept these ocean-like clouds of Dharma offering. Through these many pleasing and delightful substances, may Samaya with the Dakini mother and her retinue be fulfilled. Please forgive any times that I have breached any defilement and defiled my commitments. Liberate the enemies, obstructors, and dark sorcerers opposed to these commitments. Accomplish all the four types of entrusted, enlightened activity. So now back to the, back to page 117. So we begin without the drum, but then we begin the drum 
at the bottom of page 118. Ah, Tong Sao Ning Jay Sao Dong Lei, Rang Ni Rat Na Shri, Ma Dre Chu De Gar Shin Sao, Tug O Cho Ram Yam Kam, Bag Sog Ne Kyung Seg Tor Chu, O Ma Hong Gi Du Sir Gyu, Ha Ho Shri Yi Ka Ying Gang, Ten Song Cho Pe Ze Su Gyu, Ram Yam Kam, Om Ah Hong, Om Ah Hong, Om Ah Hong, Ha Ho Shri, Om Ah Hong, Ha Ho Shri, Om Ah Hong, Ha Ho Shri. Rangdon, Rangdon Chu Zin Zipa O, Ten Son Cho Ki Do Ma Ka, Da Dang Za O Rat Na Tre, Ye Pe Da Ru Yong Do Do, Cha Song Chi Jo Nam Dang Dang, Chang Chu Chu Na No Po La, Sir Sam Yur Du Gar Gi Gan, Za O Ka Ten Tor Tap Song, Gong Du Sha Za Kan Jo Ten, Yashe Yasu Yashe Kan Jo Sir, Kap Tu Rang Gi Kan Jo Bar, Yon Du Dam Se Kan Jo Kar, Chi Kor Ze Ring Che Na Dan, Tan Ma Ku Ni Wang Chu Ma, Tam Se Til Gang Chi Pa Tar, Ma Dre Ja Song Kong So Sao, Ne Song Chu Song Tok So Le, O Cho Or Yan Da Pe Shin, Chang Chu Gin Dang Ti Jo Dang, Cho Ki Jo Ma Chang Jang Yur, Shri Tam Pa Sung Wei Dam Sik Chen, A Chi Che Na Se Ring Ma, Tan Ma Chu Gi Da Ki So, No Gi To Dam Sur Gong She, Rin Chen Po Dang Dang Gla Shod, Dam La Ma Da Gang Cho Ju, Om A Hong, Om Jo Yong Kun Zang Yong Ne Cho, A Geg Me Cho Ya Nu Ton Den, Hong Dar Ma Ta Re Gang Kong Gyu, Shri Chor To De She Jo Geg Jo, Ma Pao Den Yin Cho Cho Gi Jo, Dag Nao Jo Che Je Lam Sum La, Me ma ye to je du kun yong, cho tong mok si di da la so, se po se or yang shin du tri, ten di chi kap chi go jo ma, kap jo pe dam la ma da war, da glu dang bi jau gon go bzo, Ze ba lin cho jin gam so che, tu ge pe tong ze na so gi, ma kan jo ko che to kam dam, ken nam jag dam chi so po so, dam lo pe cha ge le jue jo ma, don dam si chen le gan jo jo. And then the circum goes outside. So I'm not going to, I'm up on the second floor. I'm not going to jump up and do that right now. I'll take it out later. Tom will come over and help me do that. <laughs> okay. So now we go back to page 116, and now we do the dedication. <clears throat> By the power of this virtue, may the practitioners of Dharma be free of obstacles, attaining the level of the Dakini of primordial awareness, 
may we dry up the ocean of cyclic existence. Dewa digi tulaten, joje ju por gegmeshen, ya na taki satome, korwe gaso gempasho. So now we take this card that you have. Everybody has this card. And on the back side of the card is this confession of imperfections in the sadhana. So we recite this now because I'm sure none of us did a very good job of being able to do this recitation, keep the visualizations and so on. So this helps us to ask for forgiveness for that. And then we recite the um, the uh, 100 syllable purification mantra of Vajrasattva three times after we recite this out in English. So I hope everybody has this. If you don't, please just meditate and think about this, listen to this as we recite this. So we do this together. Achi Choki Joma, Confession of Imperfections in the Sadhana. Shri, from the unconditioned divine palace of Dharmadhatu, manifesting in the form of the illusory wisdom body and fulfilling the wishes of those yogis practicing the Dharma, to you, Achichoki Joma, and your retinue, I pay homage. Whatever mistakes I made in this wholesome deed through ignorance, may you, the Dakini who is the refuge of all sentient beings, forgive them. To all perfectly enlightened Buddhas, Devas, spiritual sons, bodhisattvas, and others. If this sadhana that protects the world was incompletely done, I ask for forgiveness. If I lack clarity in visualization and in samadhi, if the mantra was recited imperfectly, if I misplaced words and sentences in the recitation of this sadhana, I confess it before the Dharmapalas and their retinues. Now go to page 88 in the book. One hundred syllable mantra. So we'll recite this once in English and then we'll recite it twice in the Sanskrit. And we visualize the hung syllable at the bottom of the page in our heart. And this mantra is going around in a clockwise direction. Om Vajrasattva Samaya, help to protect my vow to purify myself. May you remain firm with me. Grant me the complete satisfaction. Grow with me. Be loving towards me. Grant me the attainments to master the powers beyond body and nature. Show me all the deeds of body, speech, and mind. Make my mind heart good, virtuous, and auspicious. Revel in the bliss of the four joys, O blessed one, who embodies the essence within me. Do not abandon me. Grant me the realizations of the indestructible nature. Make me one with you. Thus, I signify my unity with non-duality, ah. Om Bajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Bajra Sattva Teno Pa Drista Dredo Me Bawa Suto Kayo Me Bawa Supo Kayo Me Bawa Anu Raktu Me Bawa Sara Siddhi Me Prayatsa Sara Karma Sutsa Me Sitsan Triya Kuru Hum Ha 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 ho bhagavan sara tada gata bhajra mame mansa bhajri bhava maha samaya sattva ha om bhajra sattva samaya manu palaya bhajra sattva teno pa drista dredo me bhava sutto kayo me bhava supo kayo me bhava anurektu me bhava sara siddhi me prayatsa Sara karma sutsa me sits on triya kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan Sara tada gata bhajra mame mansa bhajri bhava maha samaya sattva ha Okay, so that's the practice. So we'll have our dedications to do. Any other questions about the practice? Okay.
Okay, so now we'll turn to page 157 in the book and we'll do our lineage dedication prayers and the long life prayers. Dorje Chang, Talopa, Naropa, Marpa, Milarepa, Dormarogampopa, Pagmajupa, Lordri Kumpa, please bestow upon us the most auspicious blessing of all the Kaju Lamas. By this virtue, may I achieve omniscience. By defeating all enemies, confusion, may all who travel in the waves of birth, old age, sickness, and death cross the ocean of samsara. Bodhicitta, the excellent and precious mind, where it is unborn, may it arise. Where is born may not decline, but ever increase higher and higher. I pray that the Lama may have good health. I pray that the Lama may have long life. I pray that your Dharma activities spread far and wide. I pray that I may not be separated from you. As Manjushri, the warrior, realized the ultimate state, and as did Samantabhadra, I will follow in their path and fully dedicate all merit for all sentient beings. By the blessing of the Buddha who attained the three kayas, by the blessing of the truth of the unchanging Dharma as such, by the blessing of the indivisible Sangha order, may the merit I share bear fruit. By the virtues collected by myself and all beings in samsara and nirvana, and by the innate word of virtue, may I and all sentient beings quickly attain unsurpassed, perfect, complete, and precious enlightenment. May the teachings of the great Tri Kumpa Ratna Shri who is omniscient, Lord of the Dharma, master of interdependence, continue and increase through study, practice, contemplation, and meditation until the end of samsara. Long life prayers. For this realm, encircled by the snow-covered mountains, you are the source of every benefit and bliss without exception. Tenzin Gyatso, you are one with Avalokiteshvara. May you remain steadfast until samsara's end. Embodiment of the three, three precious jewels. Prabhapani, who holds the teachings of the victorious one, seeing the all goodness meaning with the wisdom eye, may you who are spontaneously, act, uh, spontaneously established activities live long for hundreds of kalpas. Noble Manjushri, the Lord of Speech, who manifests to hold the teachings of the triple gem, who raises the lamp of the sage's teachings, may you who are the light of the Dharma live long for hundreds of kalpas. Next page. The one known in the Holy Land as Aryadeva emanated into the Gar clan of Eastern Tibet as Jodingpa, the heart son of Jigden Sumgung. May the life of glorious Garchin remain steadfast for a hundred eons. In this age of strife, when the victor's teaching faces hardship, through his powerful Vajralite conduct, he takes on himself the heavy responsibility of the unbiased teaching. May Garchin, the son of the teachings, live long. And the back page of the book, Om Mani Padme Hum Shri. Om Mani Padme Hum Shri. Om Mani Padme Hum Shri. Om Mani Padme Hong 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 Shri. Om Mani Padme Hong. 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 
Almani Padme Hong, go Mani Padme Hong, Almani Padme Hong, Almani Padme Hong, Almani Padme Hong, go Mani Padme Hong, Almani Padme Hong, Almani Padme Hong, Shri. Om ah hom Om ah hom Om ah hom May my body, speech, and mind become inseparable with the body, speech, and mind of all the enlightened ones. Thank you all very much. <laughs>